Well, I guess it all started in 1967, 68 in my garage. I had a little radio station, underground station in my garage. It was like about 100 milliwatts, the uh, FCC maximum. Good friend of mine, uh, J.B. Winans, uh, was partners with me in my little underground station, if you want to call it that. I don't remember how, but I ran into him and said, hey, you got a radio station here in your garage. This is pretty cool. Freddie didn't say much, but I'd heard about his reputation. He had started a pirate radio station out of his garage, apparently, and was uh, known in the underground at the time. I had a, a board very similar to this one. Uh, and uh, it was handmade, a little underground transmitter. I can't remember his call letters. He changed them every week, made them up. JB, bless his heart, was, uh, was more into the FCC and the rules and regulations and that kind of thing. And I, I think he was even studying to get his first class radio operator's license at that time. It was a homemade board that he had, and it would load up every time he potted the thing up. He didn't know much about wiring. It was connected to my parents' uh, telescopic TV antenna on their roof that went about a quarter mile on a good day. A precursor to KZAP more or less. The thing that made, I think, KZAP so magical was a good deal of not really knowing what we're doing, meaning not sitting down and setting out, writing down, here's what we're gonna do. It was all coming from in here.